I am back. Hello, everybody. The second exercise is about inequalities and inverse. So let's let A, B, C be real numbers. Prove that if we have A less than B and C is negative, then AC is less than BC. We have from previous result an axiom which says that if A is less than B and if C is greater than zero, this gives this give AC, BC, sorry, this is greater than. If we have A less than B and C greater than zero, this uh, implies that AC is less than BC. <clears throat> so, we know that if C is negative, minus C is positive, and we apply this result. A minus C is less than B minus C, which means <coughs> minus AC is less than minus BC. We add plus AC plus BC to, uh, to both sides of the inequality. We will get minus AC plus AC plus BC. This is less than minus BC plus AC plus BC. These two will be consulate, so we get what we get BC less than AC. BC, BC less than AC. The second uh, result <coughs> is about uh, zero is less than, strictly less than one. <coughs> How we can prove that zero is less than one? We first start by proving that the square of any given real number, x is in R, so we prove that for x uh, square, this is greater than or equal to zero. Here we have, <coughs> we, sorry, we can distinguish two cases. <coughs> sorry again, x is greater than or zero and x is less than or equal to zero. In the first case, we can take just x less strictly uh, zero, it's okay, uh, we can take it. In this case, we have x greater than or equal to zero. So we use the, preview, the previous rule to show that x times x is greater than or equal to zero times, uh, times zero. This is x squared greater than zero. In the second case, if x is less than zero, what we can do in this case, we know that minus x is greater than uh, zero and x squared is equal to minus x times minus x and they are greater than or equal to zero. So in both cases, x greater than or equal to zero and x is less than zero, in both cases we have x squared greater than or equal to zero. This, uh, this, uh, this one. The second uh, thing is to remark that one is equal to one times one, and since this this is this is this is the square, and all the squares are greater than or equal to zero. So we prove firstly that one is greater than or equal to zero. Secondly, we try to prove that one cannot be equal to zero. For this. We suppose that one is equal to zero, for instance, and let and let a be different of zero. We have a, this is equal to one times a, and this is equal to zero times a. By contradiction, this if we suppose that a if we suppose that one is different of zero, 
by contradiction if we suppose that one is equal to zero so we can replace one by zero and in at this level it is equal to zero since a equal to zero this is uh, in um, contradiction with a different of zero which means that one can never be equal to zero and uh, and then we get one strictly greater than <coughs> zero how we can prove that minus one is less than zero we can just add here we have one greater than then we add minus one and we add minus one from this side we get zero which is greater than minus zero using uh, real system axioms and property <laughs> the, uh, before the last question if we have a greater than zero how we can show that i minus one is greater than zero the inverse uh, element we know that a minus one square is greater than zero why because this is square so this is greater than or equal to zero but a is greater than zero so i minus one uh, a is strictly greater than zero so i minus one is different of zero from this side we have i minus one squared is greater than strictly greater than zero since this one is greater than zero and if we times each uh, inequality we will get i i minus one squared greater than zero i minus one squared this will this is zero but this one is what uh, this one this one is equal to i i minus one i minus one and this is the identity which is greater than zero so one times a minus one greater than zero which means a greater than zero the last uh, easy question is uh, if we have <coughs> sorry if we have if we have zero less than a less than b how we can show that how we can show that we have zero less than b minus one less than a minus one so we know we know that if a is greater than zero so a minus one is greater than zero and if b is greater than zero so b minus one is greater than zero so a minus one b minus one is greater than zero <coughs> Starting from this equation, we have zero less than a less than b. So this implies if we times by a positive number, so we get the same sense of the inequality, we will get a a minus one, sorry, we will get a a minus one, b minus one, less than b a uh, minus one, b minus one. This will be constant and this will be constant. So zero is less than b minus one, which is less than a minus one. This ends the solution of the second exercises. Hope to see you very soon.